Secure Sine Wave Inverter by Alpha. Let's check it out. Operated in instructions. Just a one page paper. All right, Alpha 1500 watt. We've got a couple of fans, the connections for your wiring to the uh, battery. On the front side, we've got a voltage and amperage display, and then maybe this is battery voltage. Two 2.1 amp USB A's. Got a LED light here. Two 15 amp 110 volt outlets, and an on and off switch. All right, let's get this hooked up, and we'll test it out. This inverter does not come with cables. We'll connect this to my SFK 280 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. So we do have battery voltage displayed here. We're showing 13.24 volts on the battery app. Output 111 volts and then I suppose as you're drawing a load it'll show you amperage for the AC side. Got my iPhone cord plugged into the uh, lower 2.1 amp outlet and we'll plug it in and if it works this 97% sign should illuminate green and we'll know that it's actually charging. I don't have a way to test the uh, amperage output of those USB ports, but here we are, 97, and it has a little lightning bolt showing that it is receiving uh, power for a charge, and we'll unplug it. Let's test the other one. I have really no doubts that it works as well, but let's check it just for fun. and also 97 and it's showing the lightning bolt that it is now charging so that's kind of handy to have those USB ports right on the front there if you have this connected in an RV or, or even a vehicle for a road trip or something it'd be handy to have those USB ports okay I've got a studio light actually two of them one over there a floor fan a shop back my heat gun all connected to the Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Right now I'm just running the two lights and the fan. That's pulling 1.6 amps. So let me reach down here. We'll start this shop back. Unfortunately, it's going to get a little bit noisy, but there were 7.8 amps. That's 1,050 in the watts on the DC side. I'm going to start the uh, heat gun on low. That's putting us at 8.3 amps. 1164 watts DC side. We switch this heat gun on to high and that's going to put us somewhere around 14 amps which is overloading more than 1500 watts. So. Let's go to high, 13.8 amps, we've got the uh, chirp, we'll just let it run 13.8 for a little bit, we're getting 1982 on the uh, wattage on the DC side, 154 amps coming out of the battery and 13.7 on the inverter. Still have a green light down here on the outlets. Let's see where we're at temperature wise. Top of the unit 96 degrees. Let's look at the wires in the back here. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm there, 150 degrees temperature Fahrenheit, 103 on the negative, 150 on the positive, 98 on the case, all down the side. So the inverter itself stands pretty cool. 
cables are getting pretty warm. They're not quite big enough to pull this for a long period of time, but again, 13.6 amps. Hundred and fifty six amps in uh, DC. Fourteen ninety six, just under max, but it's still ticking right along, so it's like I could do this all day long, I think. Not getting warm. It's not overloaded, but it's right at the edge. I don't have anything else to <laughs> anything else to plug in, but that's a pretty good test. We'll shut this all down and then we'll uh, come back and review. So that's a look at the Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. I think it performed pretty well. I mean longevity will be the question. I'll use it for some of my videos testing batteries and that sort of thing. And we'll just see how long it lasts. I think it's probably a pretty good inverter for the price. I'll link it in the description for those of you who are interested in more information about it. And you can check it out for yourself. If you want to see another 12 volt inverter review, click the video on the screen now and we'll see you over there.